Hi everyone. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to install and configure Jenkins Master and Slave on AWS. A Jenkins Master comes with the basic installation of Jenkins, and in this configuration, the master handles all the tasks for your build system. In Jenkins, we can build all our applications on a single server. As the requirement grows and changes, we will come across many issues like what if there are thousands of builds which need to be done, what if different builds need to be done on different flavors of OS. In such cases the master-slave architecture comes in picture which takes care of all such odd requirements. Slave is a Java executable which receives the build instructions from the central master node. Let's do the master-slave configuration following below steps and instructions. Steps to follow Jenkins master and slave nodes Install Java on slave node Configure slave node, under manage nodes in Jenkins master Download agent.jar file from master and copy it in slave node Run java command, copy from Jenkins master, run on slave node So let's start First we will create a security group for our Jenkins slave node. As I already created that security group. In which I allowed in inbound rules to SSH and ICMP Trafis. Now, we will go to instances and create our slave instance for that I am taking Ubuntu server 20.04. Further we will select the default settings. In subnets, we'll select the same subnet group in which our Jenkins master node running. Tag the instance with the name. In security group we'll select the same security group which we created for our slave node. Finally we'll select the same key pair to SSH into our slave node which we created before in making Jenkins master node. Now we'll access our Jenkins slave instance through SSH. After SSH we need to update our instance for that we run the update command and check that the Java is installed or not. But first, we change to root user and verify Java is installed or not. Verify Java installation. To install Java, we need to run the following command. Verify Java installation. Now copy the public IP address of your Jenkins master node, and log in Jenkins in browser. Go to manage Jenkins then configure system. Here we need to update our Jenkins URL to communicate with our slave node. Now again go to manage Jenkins and manage nodes and clouds option. Here we add our slave node, click on new node, give appropriate names, select permanent agent and create. Further add the details as required, description,
number of executors, means how many jobs you want to run, remote directory on slave where your jobs run, I am taking slash op directory, give labels, and check use WebSocket for agent connection and save your settings. Alright our node is added, but as you can see red mark, means our node is not activated, means it's not communicating with master yet. To activate node go inside the node. You find the agent commands to run on slave terminal to activate agent. But first we need to download agent.jar file and copy it into our slave node location slash opt. After copying the agent.jar file, copy and run the command to activate our slave node. I am using and sign in last to auto complete the command. As you can see, it's connected. Enter to complete the command. Now check the status. As you can see agent is connected means our slave node successfully connected with master node. Now we will create a simple demo job to run and test on our slave node. Check, restrict where this project can be run. Give the label name of slave node. In build select execute shell command. As we are just run shell command to check uptime. Verify uptime in your slave node. Click build now to run your demo job. Verify uptime. So guys as you can see our demo job successfully completed. To further verify check the directory path in your slave node. Congratulations! Our Jenkins master and slave installation and configuration successfully completed. Thank you for watching.